It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, the 22nd of December. I'm Michael Groff. It's a cold morning out there. We are below freezing in many spots. It does feel like winter, but in Arizona, nothing cold can stay. So we will start a warming trend this weekend that continues through much of next week, where temperatures go above average as we head toward Christmas and beyond. And when might we see some rain? Well, we'll talk about it as we look out there this morning just after 8 o'clock. We're under sunny skies in the valley, 37 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 22, humidity 52%. The winds are light and the barometer is rising. Temperatures around the area this morning, 24 is the cold spot at Fort McDowell. It's in the 20s at Maricopa, Buckeye, Avondale, all below freezing. And for the most part, the rest of the valley, temperatures are still in the 30s. The water vapor satellite view shows the trough that brought our bout of cold weather is now moving off to the east into the Plain States, and high pressure will be building in, and that's going to start a warming trend this weekend. The watch warning map, still some freeze warnings across parts of the state today. Red flag advisories continue in parts of California as the wildfires continue there. Some winter weather advisories up to the north. And dense fog advisories and flash flood watches and various flood advisories throughout the Mississippi River Valley extending through much of the southeastern United States and to the Gulf Coast. On the convective outlook, there's a marginal risk of severe storms today from around Waco, Texas through Shreveport and extending eastward into parts of northwestern Mississippi. And around here for the next seven days, our rainfall looks like this. Nothing, absolutely nothing for us here in the valley and pretty much nothing statewide as we once again return to a very dry pattern, or I should say really continue our very dry pattern that we've had for the last four months or so. And let's look at that as we get out to the models right now and talk about it. Here's the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon, the upper look at 500 millibars. That trough continues to move off to the east today. High pressure building in a dry northwest flow and down at the surface a mostly sunny sky. Now, it's still going to be cool out there today, but not nearly as breezy as it was yesterday. High temperatures this afternoon in the upper 50s. I'd say 56 to 59. Tonight clear. It'll be cold again. Not quite as cold as last night, but in the coldest valley locations, I expect upper 20s. Upper 30s for the urban core. Probably don't need to cover your plants if you're in the mid-city, but if you're in the outskirts, the outlying areas, might want to just go ahead and keep those covered up. Saturday, the warming trend starts to take shape with high temperatures in the low to mid-60s. Sunday, Christmas Eve, sunny skies, highs in the upper 60s to low 70s. Then Christmas Day, high pressure in control, a dry, pleasant day. Highs in the low to mid-70s here in the southwest. The record high in Phoenix on Christmas Day is 78, set in 1980. Don't think we're going to be near that, but certainly above average temperatures look likely. Look at the temperature anomalies on Christmas Day. High temperatures here in the southwest, uh, 10 degrees at least, above average, maybe more so in some spots. But the northern plains in the deep freeze with highs mostly 20-plus degrees below average. Check out these numbers. The Dakotas, Minnesota, I mean, below zero for the entire day. The high temperatures well below zero for Bismarck, Fargo, Grand Forks, Devil's Lake, Jamestown. Minneapolis, St. Paul, Duluth, St. Cloud, International Falls, all in the deep freeze. And even further to the south, uh, places like Sioux Falls and Des Moines, Milwaukee, Chicago, it'll be well below freezing. It'll feel very, very cold. Well, I guess you could call it Christmassy on Christmas Day. But here in the southwest, look at these numbers. Now, a stark contrast, to say the least. Highs in the mid-70s for much of the south-central and southwest deserts of Arizona and southeast California. So it looks like a very pleasant day all right tuesday well same weather continues mostly sunny skies with highs in the low and middle 70s same thing on wednesday and thursday the flow becomes mainly zonal around here but just some periods of high clouds will be the only sensible weather that we'll be talking about over the next seven days here's a week from today this is friday the 29th a little cut off low maybe to the south not going to have much of an implication on our weather you see, we're still under the same old weather pattern. High pressure along the West Coast, a dry Northwest flow. Uh, flow turning more zonal again uh, over the weekend. And we see that on Saturday. And then here's the end of the 10-day forecast period. Sunday, the last day of 2017. This is New Year's Eve. And that looks dry with temperatures still a little bit above average. Likely highs around 70, lows likely in the 40s. And let's check the numbers coming off of the GFS Ensemble through the period. And indeed, high temperatures going above average and staying above average to close out 2017 and march right on into 2018. Same old story. 
and it looks like no more precipitation for the rest of the year, and that's unfortunate. And that's going to wrap it up for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is going to come back here tomorrow morning. And if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Otherwise, be safe out there. Stay warm this morning. It's chilly out. And have a great Friday.